Well, if you look at that, it looks like our reflex time is up. Once your reflex time is up, everything is gonna be very hot. It's very important that you remember safety first. You do not wanna burn your hands or any part of your body. So, in order to make sure that doesn't happen, the first step is to turn off your heat. Once your heat is off, you can now raise your round bottom flask and condenser and your thermometer up. So first, we'll raise our thermometer up, out of the oil bath. The next, we'll raise our condenser up. Once the condenser and the round bottom flask and the thermometer are out of the oil bath, you want to let it sit so it can cool down. At this point, everything has now cooled. Now, we can take our lid for our oil bath and place it on top. You can remove your oil bath off to the side, and you're now ready to remove your round bottom flask. Your first step is to remove the clamp. Once your clamp is removed, you can now loosen the clamp that is around the round bottom flask. And remove the round bottom flask, like so. At this point, you wanna make sure you clamp back in your condenser. At this point, you can re-clamp your condenser. Once you've done that, you can go back to the water knob and turn off the water. Once you've turned off the water, it's important now that you wipe down your round bottom flask to remove any leftover oil. Once you've done this, you now want to grab your pasture pipette, attach the bulb, now grabbing a round bottom flask, you want to transfer your solution to the test tube. Now we're gonna put the round bottom flask back down, take off the bulb, and now what we wanna do is we wanna form two layers. In order to do this, we need a new pasture by pet, attach the bulb. We're gonna use our pet ether. We're gonna grab some pet ether. We're gonna add it to our test tube. We're gonna take off the bulb, place our pasture by back, back down. Close the pet ether, move that to the side, grab our test tube, and we're gonna mix. It's really important you take your time mixing in order to form two layers. You'll see now that there are two layers. And at this point, it's up to you to determine 
what layer to Remember guys, safety first. Don't forget your goggles, lab coat, gloves, proper footwear. Common sense might be a good asset too. Before coming into lab, make sure you read your lab. And when in doubt, always, always, always consult your TA. See you next time.